If your Samsung Galaxy S25 is constantly beeping, there could be several possible reasons for this. And the first one, notification alerts. So your S25 might be receiving constant notifications from apps like, you know, emails, messages, social media updates. So you have to just go into settings and you will start probably from this screen. Go to notifications and you have to review which apps have notifications enabled. So we go here. And now uh, you can even switch to most frequent. So now we can find out and you can simply turn off those applications. You can also receive the low battery warning. So if the battery is low, your phone may beep to warn you. So we have to check the battery percentage by pulling down this notification panel. But if it is not working, you can also check this uh, right here or simply turn on battery percentage in, in the settings. Uh, your S25 could be alerting you about a pending app or system update. So this is also the reason for beeping. So we can go into software update and be sure that you're using the latest one. Uh, but also you might have set a reminder or alarm or a calendar event that actually beeps. So you will have to, you know, go into your clock application, check for alarm, check for timer, but also you can open your uh, calendar application, which is located here and uh, just take a look for it. And there's also some accessibility features. So sometimes features like, you know, talkback uh, or other accessibility settings can cause beeping. So to check these settings, you will have to go uh, for sure into the main settings and now you have to search for accessibility and check for things in the hearing enhancements for example just review all of the settings if something it's not actually turned it on mm, sometimes from what I know that uh, you know some third-party apps can actually start beeping so you have to basically try to identify if a specific app is that is the cause by looking at app notifications or checking in some software settings. Mm, and yeah, this is honestly everything that I can tell you about this issue. Uh, and if none of the above fixes the issue, you might want to try restarting your phone, updating software like animation, or even performing a factor reset if necessary. So be sure to back up your data before reset and you can do reset by going to the settings then go to general management and navigate into reset and then perform a factory data reset. Let me know if it works.